Hey guys, my name is Jill Lewis. I am a certified faster way to fat loss coach and today I'm going to be showing you how I make some nut butter energy protein balls. They're really good. It's an awesome snack just to have around um, for your family if you're looking for something that is whole food nutrition. So no preservatives or junk in any of these ingredients and I really like that. So this is what the final product's going to look like. I made a batch of these actually last night and you can see I only have two left. They went to town on these. All right, so first thing I'm gonna tell you about is the ingredients can be kind of mixed up. So just depending on what you have in your house, if you're like me and you're kind of digging deep into your pantry, um, using up a lot of your food in your house, this is a great one. So you can use either almond butter or you can use peanut butter, you can use um, gluten-free oats, you can use regular oats, you can use um, chia seeds, you can use flax seeds, so lots of different options. I'm going to use flax seed today because I want to get, um, I've had this bag in there for a while, so I'm going to pull some of this out. So we're going to get started. I'm going to start out with a fourth of a cup of flax seed. So flax seed, you absolutely need to grind it up. And guys, you want to buy flax seed whole and then grind it up at home so it doesn't go bad on you. But this is what it looks like. I'm gonna put this in my Nutribullet. You could also put it in a coffee grinder. That works too. Okay, so I added the ground flaxseed into the bowl. To that, I'm gonna add a cup of these gluten-free oats. You can use any kind of oat that you like. I'm gonna do one cup, but I am gonna pulse this into the Nutribullet as well, just so it's not tons of huge oats <laughs> um, in the final product. So I'm just gonna add that in, and again, you just pulse it a couple of times, it should be plenty. Okay, so my dry ingredients, you guys, I have the flaxseed that I showed you. I ground up a little bit, just a little, of the oats, and then I've added two scoops of collagen protein. Two scoops, collagen protein, this is unflavored. I really like this a lot. Um, you can bake with this. I put it in my coffee, it dissolves but it's a super easy way to get collagen, some protein into your diet. So I like to put that in there. You could also do um, like a plant-based protein powder. You could do a vanilla one would be good in here. But again, this, the one I'm using is unflavored and I'm gonna add a pinch of salt to this as well. All right, so I've mixed that whole dry, uh, all the dry ingredients up and now I'm adding a half of a cup of natural peanut butter. This has nothing in it besides peanuts. I like to have really clean food for my family. Um, so I buy either natural almond butter or natural peanut butter. I'm gonna add this in and then I'm gonna be adding in honey. And we're super lucky that one of my husband's coworkers, um, they are beekeepers and so she keeps us stocked with honey and that is like such a blessing, I love it. So I'm gonna be adding in. I'm gonna start with a fourth of a cup of honey and see how that sweetens it up. So got that right here. So a fourth of a cup comes out quick. Just pour that in, I love honey. Now, if you don't have honey, no worries, you could also use pure maple syrup. Now you wouldn't wanna use like the sugary pancake kind, you wanna use pure, 100% pure maple syrup in this to keep it really good whole food nutrition. All right, so I'm gonna to start to stir this together. So the cool thing about this recipe too is you guys can adjust it to your family's tastes. I really like coconut flakes, but my family does not. So I'm not gonna be adding in coconut flakes, but if it was just for me, I would add in the unsweetened coconut flakes. I, you could add in some um, kind of crushed up walnuts or pecans would be yummy in here as well. Um, so dates, you could put in, like these are pitted dates. I thought about adding this to it, but I don't know if my kids would like it as much. So um, you could chop these up really finely and put that in also. Um, that would really sweeten it up and um, add some more carbs to it. So there's a lot of ways to adjust it. Okay, I'm now gonna add in my chocolate chips. So of course, because it's for my kids, they love chocolate chips. So I'm gonna add in just under a fourth of, well, I'm gonna add about a fourth of a cup. So about a fourth of a cup. Try to find a good brand of chocolate chips. It's a, um, I have a hard time finding dark mini chips where I live, but if you can find those, that would be great. But yeah, definitely use mini chips. I think work better in this. So I'm just gonna give this a stir and then we are gonna form them into 
the protein balls and then we're gonna I'm gonna put them on some parchment paper while they firm up okay so here's what I do I'll just grab a little bit clean hands we all have clean hands now right <laughs> okay so just form it into a ball like this and set it down so if you are tracking your macros you're going to keep track of what ingredients you put in and how much you are going to form the whole recipe you know make all of them and then you're going to create this recipe in the my fitness pal app by adding it so that way one time you add a recipe you're going to put in exactly all your measurements of this food you're going to count up how many of these little balls that you made and then you will just um you know have it in there uh so you only have to do that once it's just so much easier so if you're tracking that's the way you do it you got to create the recipe because um, there's so many variations out there of these um, you know if you were in a big rush you could definitely just try to find one that was close but if it's something that you're gonna make over and over I always recommend that my clients just go ahead one time create the recipe in the my fitness pal app then it's always there so that's kind of what I do so I'm just gonna keep forming these up All right, you guys, so this made 15. Um, I tried to make them about the same size. Clearly, this little guy is a lot bigger than his friends, but it's okay. So, yummy, yummy. Um, again, just looking for ways to give yourselves a little sweet treat, but without it being you know, loaded with preservatives and um, just stuff that's not good for you. So this is all whole food nutrition, delicious, and you don't have to feel so guilty about it, right? That is a win for me.